there looks to be about 10,000 people. It is crazy. Yeah. So we're here in Shibuya. It's a super busy, super popular place here in Tokyo. Really great central location to stay in if you're coming to the city as well. We're really hungry, so we're gonna go and head for some sushi. We're not going to go to your typical Japanese sushi restaurant. This one's a little bit different. We're hoping it's open. Uh, we're on the road now, so let's see if we can find it. We found it. It's called Genki Sushi, and it's here right in the middle of Shibuya. We've got our table numbers, so we just have to find our little cubicle. We found our spots, and in front of us is a little iPad, and we order all our sushi from these iPads, and then they come out, here comes one now, on a little conveyor belt. So I'll swing the camera around, and the chefs are making the sushi fresh in the kitchen just next to us. All right, what are you gonna order, Christy? I'm not sure. I really feel like tuna sushi though, so I'm gonna get nigiri. Might get tuna or inari. No, I think I'm just gonna start with the sushi first, the tuna sushi. Place order. Your order is being processed. Have fun. And I'm gonna go for the seared tuna with some shrimp. The sushis are actually pretty reasonably priced as well. They're 120 yen each for the ones we've ordered. Sushi go <laughs> pastas. <laughs> so, so it is very distracting. So the sushi is about 120 yen each, so maybe $1.30 Australian per piece. I think you get two pieces. Such a big bite. Right, my first sushi has arrived. The chili prawn pork it's fallen apart. So it's just prawn, obviously rice, sprouts with a little bit of chili oil. Super fresh. I've just ordered another four. I can't remember exactly what they all are. There was one that was seared salmon with like a pepper mayo. You could easily spend so much money here. Like just get carried away because it is addictive. Steve was saying before it's like super addictive just to sit there and just keep ordering stuff. So my screen's turned back to Japanese so I can't read any of it anymore. I don't know how to put it back to English. It's probably a good thing we're spending way too much just on some shit. Oh my god. I completely forgot I ordered this. Whoops. This is um tamago which is an egg omelette. I really like it. It's usually quite sweet. Let's give it a try. It's always a bit of a shock when one turns up in front of you because so many whiz past you, you never really expect I know. yours and to turn up. Especially when you forgot that you've ordered something. So let's try this tomorrow. Hopefully it's not too sweet. I know you're supposed to do the sushi in one bite, but this is just crazy big, so I'm not going to do that. I just want to taste the egg by itself. Yum! Really nice. I like that one. Another one. This is the seared salmon with the pepper mayonnaise. I was excited for this one. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but only one plate of mine's turned up compared to Christie's three. I've had three. There's one. I just had one of the seared salmon with pepper mayo. So good. So good. I got the seared tuna and I've had one piece already and it, the fish just melts in your mouth. Oh, whoop, it's about to drop. <laughs> it's about to melt in your hand as well. So there's free matcha. So there's little tubs of matcha here and you just pour it in your cup. <laughs> and there is hot water here. How good is that free matcha? So, it is a little bit addictive. I just ordered three. Did you mean to do that? Uh, yeah, I did. 
Did you? I did. Right. These ones are the best. They're the seared tuna. Salmon? Salmon. Yeah. I think some is tuna, some is salmon. I'm not sure. I'm going to help you eat these. They could all be the same. The best. Oh, yeah. Bum, How many did Steve have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had a measly four. What the? <laughs> you help eat some of mine, though. I did. I did. Meet you, us. So that was about 2,200 yen, which is about 23 Australian dollars. That's so good. Which is pretty good for... It's amazing. We maybe got about eight or nine different plates uh -huh. of sushi. Yes. Plus my beer was 700 yen just by itself. Yeah. In Melbourne, those plates range from about $5 to $15. So that is such a good value. Off the main street of Shibuya, you've got all these tiny little alleyways and they're so cute. They have a lot of the izakayas, so the traditional Japanese bars. Super cool. Do you want to tell us a story about the dog? Ah, yeah, so... That is Hachiko, he's a, an Akita. He would come and meet his owner at three o'clock every single day after his owner finished work from Shibuya Station. Even after his owner passed away, the dog still returned every day for 10 years. Once the dog actually passed away, he was cremated and buried next to his owner. So super sad story and he's such a beautiful boy. <laughs> we had to give him a pat. <laughs> amongst 300 other people here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of other people here, but well-deserved pat for a good little boy. Right next to Hachiko is the famous Shibuya Crossing, which is said to have up to 3,000 people crossing every single time the lights turn green, yep. which today, there looks to be about 10,000 people. It is crazy. Yeah. Almost every single street corner here in Shibuya is blasting music. So you can have anything from like a classical jazz kind of style to rock music to pop. It's just happening everywhere you look. All right, here we go, we're crossing. <laughs> uh, filming people film the thing that we're already filming. Across from the Hachiko statue is Starbucks, which in our opinion has the best vantage point of the Shibuya crossing. There are other cafes around and also the Shibuya train station, um, but you don't even need to buy a drink to go up to Starbucks. You can sort of just walk in, head up to the second, second floor, I think it was, and just pop your head out the window and check out the crossing. sugar things and I don't know why, why I ordered it. I think I just panicked at the last minute and that's what I ended up with. What is it? It's I think it's that Japanese cheesecake. Um, it's really moist and quite dense and it's got cream in the middle so I don't really know what to expect but let's try it. Yep, can I bite it? It's not overly sweet, which I thought, that's why I don't usually order brown sugar flavoured things because they're usually sickly sweet, but this is actually quite nice. Yeah, it's just really moist, I, like it. I guess tea cake, really moist tea yeah, cake with like. cream, sweet cream in the middle. Uh -huh. Delicious. I like it. I want to try the other flavours now. Yeah, but it was 500 yen, 400 yen. 380. 380. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll Pretty get good. another piece. Matcha, maybe.
right after that cake, we're going to end it there. And we'll see you next time somewhere in Japan. All right, see you later. Bye. And this here is the seared tuna, I've got a And this piece is the seared tuna, I've had one. <laughs> oh god. Very early. Hang on. End it there, it was just a nice quick video today, just exploring Shibuya. Shibuya. <laughs> yeah.